how to do a background check. I'm uh, going to be using the website sheriffsdepartment.net uh, to show you how to do a background check. What this uh, website offers is resources for all 50 states uh, to do background checks. So let's take a state for this uh, just to uh, show you how it works. Most states are going to have a very similar process uh, except for a few states that uh, have uh, make it slightly more difficult but overall it's going to be very similar. Uh, one of the first things you have an option to do is a nationwide check. This is an instant search first and last name. It looks at public records, criminal records, it also looks at private databases like previous addresses, cell phone information, social media, and uh, deep web type of uh, records. So you could run a quick scan on just about anybody and it will show you uh, right away what if it has any information available if you choose to go and uh, uh, acquire the larger document uh, with complete information you have an option to do that. If you scroll down uh, you can see all the uh, local state resources people have at their disposal when it comes to doing background checks. These would be essential to background checks, court records, recorder's office, criminal records, driving records, business lookup, you also have license lookup, incarceration records, prison records, sexual offender registry, and then at the county level you have things also court records, uh, jail records. So uh, prison records and jail records are a little different. Jail is checked at the county. Prison can be checked at the state level. Um, people in jail are serving or sometimes they're arrested and released right away or they're serving a sentence under 12 months. Uh, anybody that's sentenced to over 12 months goes to a prison. So two different databases. And then you have property records. Property records could be useful for checking uh, somebody's current address, mailing address. Um, it's also helpful for uh, figuring out who has what real estate. And these are all public information. Half of them, uh, half of these databases can be researched for free. Let's look at uh, some of the more essential ones here. Let's do court records and criminal records. And each state will offer you some kind of a background check direct. And this is typically going to be criminal records. So it will either be, uh, like in this example, public uh, Department of Public Safety, could be the state police, the troopers. Um, somebody typically is in charge of providing this service. And so what they'll have is uh, they'll have, uh, sometimes they'll have a simple name check. Sometimes they'll uh, do an, a name check or you can combine it uh, or you could do a fingerprint type of a check where somebody actually gets fingerprinted and there is a, uh, a background check performed uh, uh, using the FBI database. So in this case you have options to do both. Looks like from within Maryland and from outside. Uh, you also have a couple of uh, different options for various circumstances like uh, CDL, uh, individual background checks for employment, licensing purposes, <clears throat> and most of them will give you instructions on how to, uh, on it, it, they'll give you instructions on, on what you need to do for particular situations. Uh, they'll give you a price list. Typically it's it's uh, very reasonable. Uh, it's directly from the state. These are going to be probably the most, well, they are the most up-to-date records and the most complete um, in, because they are coming from the source. This is where everybody gets them. So uh, anyways, uh, that's uh, one thing to use for background checks on how to do a background check. Another way to uh, to get information criminal information and civil information and traffic information is to uh, research uh, court records. So you can get a, a lot of similar, uh, uh, all the crime records that you get from uh, the official background check from the state is technically, it, everybody technically goes through the court system. 
So as soon as somebody is arrested, they got to go see a judge. As soon as they see a judge, a court record is created. Court record is considered a public record, and you should be able to find it through databases. Sometimes a state will give you a statewide system. Sometimes they'll have court-specific systems. Sometimes you have to go at the county level to do this research. So depending on the state, um, you'll have to figure out maybe uh, you'll have to research multiple databases or sometimes they'll just make it really simple and uh, you only have to search one single database so just a heads up there and then you have various other things uh, to consider depending on what the background check is for maybe driving information is needed maybe somebody needs to verify a business or verify a professional license Again, you have prison records, a sexual offender registry. So if you go to uh, sheriffsdepartment.net, we uh, provide all these resources for you. So you, anything from background checks to uh, warrants to vital information uh, to court records. And you'll be able to find official resources in your state. And sometimes it is a good idea to check multiple states. Uh, if you can figure out previous addresses for the person that you're running a background check on, people do move around these days. So it might be a good idea to either do a, a, some variation of a nationwide check or figure out previous addresses and maybe run a background check in those states also. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description. You can also just type sheriffsdepartment.net into your browser. Come on down and uh, see if we can help you.